in that cat. Pull up 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 in that cat. What's going on, YouTube? Back with tapping back in for another video. I appreciate y'all rocking out with me for another one. Before we jump into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me get a like on this video and hit that post notification bell so y'all can be notified when I drop new videos like this. Check out those links in the description to go grab one of these Bake One t-shirts. I'm rocking the Bake One camo tee right now. Head on over to www.bakeone.shop. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. I'm going to talk a little bit about what it's been like trying to buy a Hellcat in 2022. Absolutely crazy, you know, coming off of COVID-19. The economy is not in a good place. Um, you know, but granted, people that do have Mopars like me, I got the Daytona 392. You know, we pretty much been blessed with the ability to have more value for our cars, but that don't really help nothing when all the other cars that you're shopping for is overpriced as well. You know what I mean? And that combined with just a whole bunch of other variables that's at play when you're trying to purchase a sixty or seventy thousand dollar, you know what I'm saying, a sports car, it's so much you guys. So I feel like this video is gonna help. Or just, you know, even be a conversation type video for people because it's like, you know, I know there's other people out there that's going through the same thing I am right now trying to upgrade to the Hellcat. Or you may be even trying to get a 392 Scat Pack um, or maybe even an RT Hemi because a lot of the cars that got that, you know, that Hemi trim, uh, the V8, you know, from Dodge is going crazy. And it's not just Dodge, it's a lot of different cars right now. So this would apply to somebody who's trying to get a Corvette. Um, a Camaro, a Mustang, you know what I mean? If you pretty much trying to get any sports car in the year 2022, this video is probably going to apply to you. Look, so just jumping straight into it, you guys. The first thing that I've been running into is just off the bat, the dealerships been having the cars marked up 10,000 plus. Like, I'm talking used cars. So we're not talking brand new cars. We're talking used cars, meaning you go to some of these dealerships. I always recommend to download the Carfax app. The app looks like this, you guys. Head on over to the App Store and download this app. It's Carfax Car Care. I've been looking for a few cars. I'm going to show you how to use it. Put the VIN number in for the car that you're looking for, right? So put the VIN number in. Hit the glove box tab. What that's going to do is bring you to this screen. You want to go to the history based value, right? Because what that's going to do is tell you the value of the car. It's just a quick hack how to get a free car fax on any car that you're looking for, you guys. So make sure to use this tool because this is the tool that you can use when you go to the dealership and you're looking for your car. And you might think that the price is a little bit high. Head on over to the dealership, right? Pull this app out. It'll show you the price of the car that you're looking for. That way you got a little bit of negotiation room with these dealerships. We got that out the way. So pretty much using this Carfax app is going to help you guys just to know the true value of a car. You may have a car at the house. Just punch the VIN number in there to see the value of your vehicle. It's super easy to use and I definitely recommend using this app as a tool to know the true value of the car because you got to understand unless you're buying a new car, um, the car is worth pretty much private party. Now these dealerships might try to hit you with, and I done heard it a lot, oh, we price these cars 100 miles out and we got the cheapest price or, you know, due to the market adjustment. But you got to understand as the buyer, you're buying a used vehicle. What you owe on the car essentially has to match up with the private party value. You can't overpay for a car about $10,000, $15,000 and expect to pull off the lot and and be in good shape you'll pretty much be going upside down as soon as you pull off the lot so you don't want to do that you guys make sure to keep that in mind like you want to know the value of the vehicle you're buying and that's what's been stopping me from getting a lot of these hellcats right is i look at them they look smooth okay boom they look decent you know what i'm saying they got the car play um it might have some features i like you know it's give or take buying a used car so but the main thing is when I put that VIN number in the Carfax, it don't come back right, so I can't buy it. So just make sure to keep that in mind. The Carfax costs money, but with that app I just showed, y'all can get free Carfaxes. Now don't go crazy just dropping VIN numbers in there. Y'all gotta make separate accounts if you do want to get the Carfaxes. If you just do it on one account, they'll like ban your account because they got systems in place to tell 
if you're just doing it to run car packages and see the value it's always a workaround though make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if that tip helps you guys and you guys will be using that when you're shopping for your hellcat or any other sports car in 2022 another thing that i've been ran into and it's a crazy situation i don't know if y'all done ran into any situations like this right but with these hellcats so many people stealing them, they stealing them any way they can. If they not jumping through the back window, you know what I'm saying, plugging up the USB and pulling off with your car, then they trying to go straight to the dealership and get them, you know, however they getting them. So it was a Hellcat I was looking at up here. And, you know, I see it. It's a smoke show. Great Hellcat. Uh, 2021, actually. Brand new Hellcat Challenger. Trackhawk tips on it. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's a go. Let me see what's up. Let me see if they would negotiate on the price because they wanted like 70K for it. And I'm like, it's just too much. I can go get a brand new Challenger Hellcat from the dealership for 67. So it got to be something that y'all could do on it, right? So I inquire about this car. I'm talking to the salesperson. Lo and behold, this car done been bought from their dealership with a fake identity, right? So somebody went in there with a fake identity, bought the Hellcat, pulled off and made it like a state away from where I'm at and the dealership had to go recover it and now they got the car back at the dealership and they're trying to cover expenses you know for recovery and all that they basically trying to pass it off like the car don't got damaged title history so in all reality a car like this would be right up my alley right of course i would verify you know what i'm saying the documents i would want to see the car actually get recovered what tow company went and got it all that good stuff right but a car like this would be right on my alley because at the end of the day, I'm not too stressed on the title. The car's in good condition. It got a story with it. I got a story. You know what I'm saying? So cars like this that got some type of special variables, you know what? I'll hop in it, but I can't hop in it for 70K. So a lot of these dealerships are just tripping right now. And that's just like one situation I've ran into. Have y'all ran into any crazy situation trying to buy a Hellcat or a Scat Pack? in 2022 then drop a comment down below but that's just one situation i ran into that was super crazy if you want to run into any crazy situation trying to buy a hellcat or a scat pack and drop a comment down below that's just one thing that's been like super crazy you guys it's been a whole bunch of different situations from the cars not being marked up you know 10 20 000 above the value as a used vehicle like some of the wide body hellcats and red eyes you can't even look at those right now they like 100 racks 80, 90,000 for a car that got like 20, 30K miles on it. These dealerships is going crazy right now, y'all. So I'm just making this vlog as a little bit to the vent, you know, because it don't make no sense. And we gonna find one. If y'all know one thing about me, we always getting in where we fitting in. If it's something that we really want, we gonna get it, right? So fingers crossed, we can get it this summer, but it might not happen this summer, y'all. Hellcat might not happen this summer. It got me leaning towards just starting to mind the Daytona, you know what I mean? So if y'all don't watch this video all the way through, I know I did say in my last video, I'm not really the type to mind the vehicle, but look, I threw the idea out there to raffle the car off. If y'all not trying to lock in on the raffle, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'll mind the car, I'll put some brass monkey wheels on it, I'll peel those Daytona decals off it, and straight wrap the car up. I don't got no problem with it. I've been already imagining the brass monkey wheels on my red Brembo, I know they're gonna look straight. If y'all haven't seen my car, make sure to go check out my other videos. I actually just dropped a video, you know, testing the waters on the raffle idea, so make sure y'all run the channel up. Y'all just gonna have to rock with me if you really want to raffle the car off. Y'all have to rock with me, run my channel up, make sure to subscribe, y'all drop a comment down below, drop a like. Come on, y'all. I'm rocking with y'all for real. Another thing that's been going on with these cars, like you will bump into one with a rebuilt title. And like I said, you know, there's ways around that, right? Just for reference, if y'all is looking for any car, right, it might have a rebuilt title, savage title. I know a lot of people would say stay away from cars like that, right? I'm going to tell y'all one tip that can help you see if a car is worth buying. So every car has a VIN number, right? That's like the a birth certificate or social security number that you get, right? It follows you around everywhere, right? So with these cars, you can take the VIN number to a car with a salvage title. It might be a Hellcat. You can punch it in Google and it'll show you pictures of the car. If it's been through auction anywhere, it pulls everything, right? Because we on the internet. Remember, what you're doing on the internet stays on the internet. So if somebody pass one of these Hellcats off through an auction that's smashed up, that's crunched up, frame damage and all that, you will be able to see, but you got to know how to look 
Look, y'all gotta know how to look around for these cars to shop for them. I'm doing these videos. I'm on the channel trying to drop gems whenever I can, trying to help people because I want to see y'all. I want to see y'all comment down below. Yeah, bro, I secure my Hellcat. I use the Carfax app. You know what I'm saying? I ran the VIN number through Google. You know, it had a salvage title, but it was smooth. I still cocked it, bro. Good looking. So the Carfax app done saved me so many times. I'm going to give y'all one example when this app saved me, right? I seen a B5 blue Hellcat for sale up the street. You know what? It looked a little rough, but I'm like, you know what? Let me drop the VIN number in here. Let me see what's going on with it. I ran this car's history, right? The car only had probably 20 or 30,000 miles on it. So y'all gotta keep in mind, I said this in my last video when I bought a car from the auction. When you buying a car with low miles, low miles don't always mean it's good, right? Low miles can either mean the car was cared for and you know what I'm saying, put up, or low miles can mean that the car that has some repair problems that have stopped it from driving. So don't get excited when y'all see cars with like super low miles, don't get excited. That don't really excite me. For me, that raised some questions. All right, who owned this car before? Let me see that history. Because you know that car care app is like, you know, pulling the whole record on the car. So, like literally. So, I pulled the history on this B5 Blue Hellcat right up the street. It was for sale literally on the same street I live on. Right down the street, right? I pulled the history on it. First red flag, it was a Challenger, and it was missing the plastic front bumper piece on the bottom. I'm like, damn. My first thought was that it had a new bumper. Um, I didn't really know, though. So I ran the car's history. Every two or 3,000 miles, mind you, the car only had about 20 or 30K miles on it, right? Every two or 3,000 miles on this Hellcat, it had new tires. First red flag, that showed me, okay. Some people tracking it. The person clearly bought the car to use it, right? But the real red flag was, I'm looking, it had new tires every two, three K. And then they had went to the transmission repair shop, right? So it's a wrap. It's still on the lot for $60,000. So y'all gotta understand right now in 2022 is wicked. And Dodge don't make it no better because they up in the price every year. Me as a Dodge enthusiast, me as a, a 392 owner, as somebody who wants to jump in the Hellcat, who they trying to gear these cars towards, it don't make no sense why we getting dead like this. You know what I mean? They up in the price year after year, but it's the same car. Like I know for a fact, come 2023, next year, the body style's not gonna change. If anything, they might discontinue the narrow body scat pack. Y'all heard it here first, cause they discontinued the narrow body Hellcat already, it's gone on the charger side, right? Cause that's what I want, the narrow body charger. I'll put my own wide body kit on there. I'll do all that myself, right? But they discontinued that already. So it ain't even no way that you can get the narrow body charger. The scat pack coming next, they gonna discontinue the narrow body scat. What's all you left with on the charger side after that is wide body charger, scat pack, or a wide body charger, Hellcat. And the Hellcat already 77. It's gonna be probably 80 bands next year. The scat pack is already like 56 or 55 in the wide body. It's going to be about 60 bands next year come 2023. The RTs is already 36K. It don't make no sense right now. So that's why I'm saying I'm just making this video right. Because I know the Hellcat owners, the Dodge owners are going to feel me. A lot of Hellcat owners already been sold their cars. I was talking to a dude, a uh, private party. He wanted 47K for his 2015 Hellcat Challenger. Let me jump on that. It's not bad, right? He ended up taking it to the dealership, trading it in. The same car right now, 57K. The car blue book at 49K. Excellent condition, the car blue book at 49K. So tell me how is these dealerships marking these cars up? 10,000. The only reason they doing it is because it's young dudes like me going in there paying it. Y'all gotta understand, know what you buying. That's my little rant on the whole Hellcat scat pack situation in 2022. If y'all feeling the same way I'm feeling, make sure to drop a comment down below. That's just my little rant on the scat pack Hellcat situation. You know, it's crucial right now in 2022 and Dodge not making it no better. You know, they pretty much got our hands tied to where I'm feeling like I gotta go buy my car brand new and just, you know what I'm saying, pull it off the lot when I'm never that type. Cause I already know as soon as you pull it off the lot, it don't matter whether it's a year from now, two years from now, the car gonna lose some value. But another conversation topic, do y'all think that these Hellcats or maybe even some scat packs is going to be 
auction house worthy cars. Because these are cars that's not going to lose value. If I go get a brand new Hellcat off the lot right now, do y'all think it's going to climb in the years coming? Or do y'all think it's going to drop? They discontinuing it in 2024. So please drop your comments down below. Y'all make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Head on over to www.bakewin.shop. Grab a t-shirt. That's the best way to support me. Hit those links in the description, y'all. That's my SoundCloud. I appreciate y'all rocking out with me for this vlog. Until next time, I'm gone. I secure that bag, cure that bag on my